ahead and press record. And then I'm going to go ahead and go to the video. So you guys can stand up from um, Dancing with the Stars. She did a video, the Pilates video. Um, and it is so good and painful. All right, thumbs up if you can see my screen. Everybody can see it? I'm getting on the floor with you. Did I press record? Now I can never, did I, did I press record? That makes me have to go back and now check. Oh, I'm recording. Excellent. Okay, here we go. We are gonna do, I literally still can feel the pain from when I did this last time. Just thinking about it. All right, we're gonna do it. Hi, that we have a special guest here today. This is Julianne. Hey, you guys, I'm going to take Julianne through a full body Pilates workout. Are you excited? I'm so excited. I love Pilates so much, but I love you even more. So, this is like double whammy. I love you even more. It's a love fest. It's a love fest. I've been following Julianne like forever, so this is literally a dream come true. The reason it did that is my son had to watch a school video and he puts it on faster speed so it goes faster. Sorry. Like, I don't think you understand. I am so excited. Well, the feeling is mutual. I'm very excited. Yay! Okay, so we're gonna take all that energy and put it into our Pilates work today. You guys, we've got 20 minutes. We're gonna do full body, arms, legs, thighs, uh, abs, the whole situation. Are Love you it. ready? I'm so excited. Okay, yeah. cool. We're gonna start out with plie squats, which I feel like, Julianne, oh, you're like standing master. Up first. I'm sorry. <laughs> so standing you guys, first. what you're gonna do here is bring your legs out wider than hip width apart, toes di um, diagonally out, arms out, shoulders rolled back, open chest, belly button in, and I want you to squat down into that plie and then lift up, okay? Basic, we're just gonna get started like so. Look at those beautiful plie Woo! squats. You've been doing that their entire life. My entire you? life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys, so this is just to warm up your legs, making sure that belly button is in, tailbone is tucked, shoulders away from the ears, but to make it a little bit more fun, we're gonna go into an up, up, down, down plie, which means we're gonna play with the heels here, so check it out. We're gonna go up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. So this is really gonna activate the inner thighs as well as the calves. How are you feeling, Julianne? So good, I'm already burning, I love it. Good, well, <laughs> I'm gonna have to work Julianne really hard because I know she's super strong, especially with these like types of Pilates movements. <laughs> I feel like you understand this. So I'm gonna push her extra hard, which means I'm gonna push you extra hard. <laughs> good, okay, a little bit more. And hold both of the heels up, okay? Now bring your arms in front, okay? Shoulders rolling back. Now, I want you to press, press. Press right there, perfect. You feel those inner thighs? Oh yeah. All right, you guys. Make sure to hold that core nice and tight, chest forward, keep pressing, heels up. Now if the heels are making you kind of wobble, you can place them down if you want, but really keep that chest open and keep pressing down, okay? Let's get a little lower. Woo! There Press. it is. <laughs> we like that first. Oh, yeah. And then Julianne's going to basically uh, torture me in her energy workout. Oh, yeah. And eh, no torture. Just not fun. torture. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Down, down, down. Give me five, four, three, two, one. Bring it up. Woo! Do you feel it? Oh, yeah. All okay. the way. Good, now we're gonna head into normal, normal squats, okay? Just to warm up the legs before getting to Pilates. So legs hip width apart, you guys. Pressing the heels, arms here, and simple squatting down, and lift, and low, and lift. Keeping that chest nice and high. Good stuff, you guys. A little bit more right here, just getting that movement in, heels down, chest open. Now I want you to sit, okay? Now it's time to pulse, you ready? Pulse, pulse it, pulse. Pulse. I love me a good pulse. I do too. Yeah? Oh yeah. I good. feel like I'm like moving. Moving. <laughs> and booty popping. You know? Booty popping. <laughs> booty popping. You just can't leave the booty popping stage. <gasps> oh my gosh, the lights are pretty hard. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. So you guys get a little bit lower for me. Oh man. Oh, you got it, you guys. Press, press, press. You're doing so good. All right. Give me five, four, three, two, hold it. Oh, hold it, get down a little lower, hold it. <sighs> breathe, breathe, breathe. Five, four, three, two, lift. Woo! Oh my gosh, good job. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Now, we're down onto the floor, you guys. Let's get ready for roll-ups. So I want you to bring your legs forward, 
hands forward and slowly roll down with control vertebrae by vertebrae. Beautiful. Okay, you guys. So I want you to bring your heels together, point your toes, and lengthen your spine with your arms long behind you. Now inhale through your nose. On the big exhale, I want you to slowly roll your spine up off of the mat. Beautiful. And then sitting super tall. Ooh, touching Little toes. toes. <laughs> and then coming back. We really do love each other. We, we do. Toesies. <laughs> also, I am loving our color coordination right now. We're like little this, popsicles. We are like popsicles. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'd be like strawberry flavored. How about you? What's blue? Like blue raspberry? Blue raspberry. There you go. There you go. That was quick. I was like, um, spirulina? <laughs> I don't know. Hey, spirulina's good too. Yeah. And go ahead and lift up. You guys are gonna exhale as you lift. Inhale as you curl that spine down onto the floor, lifting really, really tall. And if you need to, you guys you can hold on to your thighs to help get yourself up like so. That is another option that you can take. Okay, one more. Lifting really, really tall. And go ahead and relax onto the mat. Good stuff. Okay, now we're gonna head into our single straight leg stretch. So, Julianne, go ahead and bring your right knee into your chest and lengthen that leg. You can grab behind your ankle near your calf. Now, with the head positioning, we're gonna head into Pilates stance. So that means you're gonna lift up your head, neck, and shoulders. Perfect. So that your head's pretty much just floating on top of your um, shoulders. Now, we're gonna do a pull, pull switch, making sure that bottom leg is lifted as well. Okay, so here it is. It's a pull, pull switch. Switch, switch. It's an exhale, exhale, switch. There we go. Good, beautiful. So make sure your belly button is pressed into your spine. Make sure the spine is pressed into the mat, the lower back. Switch, switch. Couple more. Pull, I love the pull. breath. Yes, it so really important. helps. Yeah, it is so important. It helps um, connect your breath with your movement, with your body. And pull, pull, switch. Pull, pull, and hold it. Okay, now we're just going to take a single pull, all right? So here we go. Just single pull and pull. And, and, because every time you exhale, you're actually squeezing the abs a little bit more, engaging the core. So that will help with, you know, your abdominal chiseling. Woo! Yep. And pull, pull, pull. Give me four, three, two, hold. Okay. If you need a break, you guys, go ahead and draw the knees into the chest. Relax your head for a moment. Breathe in through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Now, there's two options you have for your hands, okay? If you want to work more of the upper abs, you can place both hands behind the nape of your neck, elbows wide like so, okay, as if you're doing a crunch. Or if you feel like your low back is popping off of the floor, hands in a triangle and place them underneath your tailbone like so, okay? Doesn't matter which one you do, but follow the legs. So I'm gonna place my hands behind the nape of my neck, elbows wide, legs up. We're gonna go for a single leg drop. So that means you're just gonna drop one leg parallel to the floor and lift up, that's it. Same leg, down. And and up, and low, and lift. Beautiful work. So you guys, right here, make sure your lower abs are really pressing deep into your spine, okay? We're down, and up, and low, and lift. A couple more on this side. Nice. How are you doing, Julia? I'm so good. And I was just thinking it's so nice to like see your face as I'm dropping my leg. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a nice little peekaboo. Hello. Right. Hi. Okay, let's go ahead and switch our legs. And I see the other side of your face. <laughs> yes. I love partner work. This is so fun. It is fun. Do you often um, work out with any of your family or your friends? I do. Uh -huh. I'm such a people person. I think it's so important to connect with people. So even if people are watching right now and doing this on your own, then you should go do it with a friend, even if you're doing it online together. Yes. Right? Yeah, and at least schedule it with your friend. They could talk about it afterwards. Right. Before you were, yeah. Shared experience. Shared experience, so important. Okay, two more right here. And hold it up. Okay, if you need a break, place your head down. If not, we're gonna go straight into double leg lift. So you guys, Keeping the head, neck, and shoulders lifted, press your heels together, point your toes. We are going to squeeze our abs, inhale down, bring both legs down, and exhale, bring it up. Oh yeah, 
Hello, bringing it down. And exhale, bring it up. Now at this point, if you feel like your head, neck and shoulders are getting really heavy, you can place the hands underneath the tailbone, relax your head if you want. Totally up to you, but make sure that low back stays pressed into the floor. Julian, you were so strong. I was gonna say, I'm shaking right now. Well, my I can't inner thighs, <laughs> my glutes, my abs. Yep, Woo! definitely the abs. Woo! Well, my goal is to make you sore. So uh, we're gonna keep going. <laughs> <laughs> All right, keep going, you guys. A little bit more. Give me three. Inhale down, exhale, lift. One more. Inhale down. Exhale, lift, draw the knees in and relax. Woo! Oh my God. So good. So good. Flex and point, flex and point, flex and point. Okay, good stuff. Now, we're gonna stay in this position. We're gonna do a, one more variation of that, okay? Just for funsies. This is gonna be the harder version. So, hands can remain behind the nape of the neck or underneath your tailbone, up to you. This time we're gonna do a single leg lift. So same thing as the first one, but now we start in the bottom position. So both hands behind the nape of the neck, lengthen the legs, okay? Now lift and drop, there you go. Lift and drop, single leg up and down, really working the lower abs. Give me three and two, Good, one switch side, let's go. Up, down, and breathe. Focus, this isn't easy, you guys are doing amazing. Give me three more right here, three. I know, two, one more, one, and dead. Oh, yeah. so good, <laughs> so good. Okay, so now go ahead and lengthen your legs, arms long, and roll up. Give me just one. Oh man. I'm I feel that. It. I feel that. I'm sweating. This is good. Now, we're going to do some of my favorite arm workouts, which are weightless. Okay. Um, and everyone who sees them are just like, what is that? Does that work anything? <laughs> it does. And we will show you today. Awesome. Okay, cool. So, you guys, this one is called Walnut Crusher. So, you're going to bring your arms out like this. So, the main goal here is to really work on the posture mm -hmm. and also uh, make the back muscles stronger and also get shoulders. So, what's going to happen is you're going to press back. But it's not just like a back. It's like a little hill. Mm. And a squeeze, okay? Yeah. So a squeeze, a squeeze, walnut crusher. So why do I call it that? Imagine you have a little walnut behind your back, between your shoulder blades, and you're gonna crack it right there. Here, I'll turn this way. Yes, that's right. Okay. Boom, just like that. See? Cracking the walnut. <laughs> Perfect. Press and press and press. Good stuff. And boom. Nice work. So you're gonna turn around. Okay, Julia, tell me what's your favorite dessert? Ooh, 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 I don't know. Mm, pumpkin pie? Ooh, pumpkin pie is good. <laughs> yeah, That's it's just good. good. There's something like kind of sweet and savory about it. Oh, definitely. Okay, so are you more of a desserts person or like a salty person? Um, you know, I'm, I'm a mixture. I like uh -huh. a salty and a sweet. So okay. one of my favorite things, this is so random, okay. but my grandmother, uh -huh. she would take us to Wendy's when we were kids. Yeah. And we would get a Frosty and we would dip our fries in the Frosty. Okay, I've seen people do that. I have never, <laughs> but is it good? You know, I think it's just nostalgic at this point. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, if you like that feeling, have you ever had um, McConnell's sweet cream ice cream <gasps> with corn cookie? Um, no, but I saw on your story that you made it the other day. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I'm Julia. like, yo, share the love. Um, it is so good. <laughs> it is so good. Okay, so this is definitely not like healthy treat. It's more like healthy for the soul Doesn't treat. Oh, yeah. But the ice cream is made of just two ingredients. What is it? It's uh, condensed milk and heavy cream. And I normally am lactose intolerant, but whatever, it's worth it. <laughs> and then I made some corn cookie that I got a mix from Trader Joe's, and I just mixed it together, and it was perfection. Amazing. It was so good. Also, I'm just going to let everybody know my arms and my back are burning. Okay, good. So and that's like a good time to switch. <laughs> okay, yeah. so keep your arms up. We're heading to back behind. So palms down, squeeze behind mid-back. Out mm -hmm. and squeeze. Out and yes. squeeze. 
Oh man. Okay, so um, now so you know. started with like baking and stuff, right? You did that in college? No. Well, I mean, okay, kind of. Kind yeah. of. You've been watching. You've been reading my Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> um, actually, my mom and I used to bake cookies in high school, and I would sell them in high school. Okay, so that's how so it started. High but but the really weird thing is that when I was younger, I didn't really eat sweets that much, uh -huh. and I got into it because I didn't know what to do with all my Halloween candy. So I would <laughs> melt my Halloween candy and turn them into chocolate balls and sell them. Oh my gosh. That's so that's how that's kind of weird. It's like very to weird. like melt it all together, but you I'm know, kind of interested in my that friends is bought it. So I was like, okay, <laughs> this is opportunity. I love it. So yeah, and then um, I, I'm actually normally very terrified of baking because if you mess up, you can screw up the yeah, recipe, totally. right? So I'm more of a saute boil type person. Yeah. There's like something so comforting about following directions mm -hmm. and having something come out at the end. Having a like. result, yeah. Yeah. Totally, especially when it like looks beautiful, it smells beautiful, you just, yeah. Love and you just share it with the other <laughs> people that you love. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so a little bit more, and then we're gonna get it into the one that's crazy. Okay, <laughs> give me three and two and one. Okay, bring your elbows together. This okay. is called prayer pose. This is the worst one. Okay, oh, are you yeah. ready? Okay, so you can keep your elbows together, you guys. Do not let them come apart. Palms in prayer, and all you're gonna do is bring elbow to nose. So up, up. <sighs> Uh, so this Woo! works, yeah, <laughs> this works your shoulders, it works your biceps, it works your chest, and it's really hard. Okay, so you're gonna lift it up just like that. So for those of you at home who are like, oh, I don't feel this, make sure you're not going down and that you're going up, up, up. Beautiful, yes, keep lifting, lifting. Do you feel it? Oh yeah. Yeah. That's what I love about Pilates too, is that you're getting those like third layer muscles. Uh-huh and doing like small movements yep. versus like these big motions. Yep. Oh, so good. Yeah, and it's important to do like all of it. I feel like the weightlifting, the dancing, yeah. the bodies do all of it so your body can really be challenged. Okay, we're gonna triple it up. Here we go. One, two, three, and down. Lift, two, three, and down. Up, up, higher, and down. Oh, Lift. yeah. One, two, three. Okay, and now we hold, Julianne. Hold it up, hold it. Breathe, Woo! breathe. Breathe and lift up a little higher. Keep that one together. Shake, shake, shake. A little bit higher. Up. Woo. Last time. And lift hold. Five, four, three, two. Relax. Oh, yes. To me. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Okay, we're not done yet. Okay. We're not done yet. Okay. Right. So Give now we're, we're going to hand to booty. Oh, yes. Yeah, you like booty. booty. Yes. Okay, so come down on your side. Okay. What we're gonna do is point the head like so, support the chest, and we're gonna bring one leg out just like that, okay? And all you're gonna do is you're gonna lift straight up like this. Up and oh. down, up and down. And if you guys wanna try a new position, if you don't like being this low, you can also go up here, which maybe I'll do that because I can see you better. All right. So you guys, you're gonna feel outer glute and outer thigh right here with your mermaid leg lift. And that's all it is. It's just Love it. right here. And if you guys are finding that it's a little bit difficult to keep the leg um, perpendicular from your body like here, totally feel free to go diagonal a little bit, but definitely try to work towards this position. Whew. Feel it here. Yep. Feel it here. Uh -huh. Feel it here. Yep. All That's it. right. That's okay. because her form is perfection right now. Very good. <laughs> Okay, Julian, tell me something. Tell me a weird quirk about yourself. A weird quirk. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, Wait, as you think, circle your leg. Okay. Circle the leg. Okay, go. <laughs> weird quirk. Um, I can do like some things with my tongue, like, um, you know, the three leaf clover one. Oh my gosh. Uh, uh, wow, I uh -huh. can't do that. Uh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then also the one where you do it like flat on your tongue. Huh? Oh my gosh, wow. Yeah. I, do that. I don't know. So I feel talented. like that's like the, the trick that you do in high school and I've never found another trick. So <laughs> <laughs> I guess you're like, I should find another one. Oh my gosh, my booty is burning. Ready? Okay, switch, switch directions. Oh, and then we'll be done with this like, woo! Oh okay. yeah, I love a good burn though. Oh, love a good burn. I'm so excited to do Kenergy with you too. Well, this oh. is like, this is perfect because this is activating like our our life force energy, our like Ooh. physical body. And yeah. then we're gonna go into like more of our like mindset and emotional body right Ooh. after. So I love it's gonna be like full body Ugh. expression. Total full Ooh. body expression. Give me three, two, one, and down. Oh Ugh. my gosh. 
right? Oh yeah. Right? Okay. <laughs> Let's flip over onto the other okay. side. <laughs> Perfect. Oh my goodness. Okay. Even so same thing, you can go on your elbow, you can support the head, whatever. And we're gonna bend that bottom knee, extend this one. Okay, here we go. And just lift and lower. Lift and lower. Okay, so I've seen you um, have different hair colors. I've been scared of Which one's your favorite? Honestly, I think that's probably the thing that I'm maybe the most famous for is my uh, hair color switch. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I grew up li literally blonde, 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 uh -huh. like white hair. Uh -huh. And then, yeah, I think just over the time, I change my hair so often because it's it's the outward expression of what I feel like I'm shifting on the inside, you know? Ooh. So sometimes, you know, we go through so much growth and change, but, you know, people don't necessarily see it on the outside mm -hmm. or you don't know how to express it. Mm -hmm. And so I'm such a tactile person I whether it's my clothes yeah. or my hair I like to shift and transform a lot so the hair is such a good thing to do but I've loved like my red hair I like that too I had red hair I had pink hair Ooh, circle leg real quick yeah. circle leg. um so this is all natural that's your natural color yeah it oh, is it's really pretty my brother says it's green what? I'm like well what then, what? then what you is... have green hair too because it's the same color as yours wait I literally do not see anything <laughs> what is he talking about I don't know. <laughs> Probably just because it's that like mousy, you know, dishwater hair. <laughs> dishwater? These are weird words. I like it. <laughs> okay, go ahead and reverse the circle. Oh my gosh, Woo! my leg, my booty is done. Oh yeah. Woo! Burn no, central. It is so true what you say about the hair because I remember I had a really, uh, I was going through something really hard in my life and I just had just to chop off all my hair. Oh yeah, that, you yeah. Know, that's like all the energy that you carry with you. Really? So when you chop that hair, it's like letting that part of you go away. Wow. It's like fresh new, you know? Wow, I didn't know there was like an actual, you know, reasoning behind it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. if you think about it, like this has been with me for a year and True. a half probably. True. You know? So like whatever I've been going through for that year and a half, if I want to let that go, chop it off. I've always wanted to shave my head. I'm never going to do it, but. <laughs> wow, that is bold. That is very wow. bold. Very bold and very bold. <laughs> very bold. Very bold. <laughs> Three. Two, one. Oh my gosh. Woo. Oh my gosh. That is so good. Now go ahead and flip over onto your belly. We're going to stretch it out and we'll be done. Okay, hands underneath your shoulders and go ahead and push yourself up into a down dog right here, pressing the heels down into the mat. Inhale. Big exhale. One more time. Flatten that back. Inhale. Big exhale. I want you to walk, inchworm your hands towards your toes and just hang right there. Oh, so good. Inhale. Big exhale. I want you to slowly slide up, rounding out your back, straightening out your spine, rolling your shoulders back, and give yourselves a big round of applause. Yay! Big high five. Yes. Good job. You killed it. Thank you. You killed You killed me. Okay, I told you that that was going to hurt. And I'm sorry, I've never felt pain like that. And I remember doing this with a girlfriend of mine. And I was like, that hurt really bad. Wait till tomorrow. So <laughs> um, nutrition tip. So all my kids are back in school. Our schedule is totally jam-packed. I'm worried to death I'm going to forget something and not show up. So I'm going to give you two foods you can eat to improve your memory function. And so that's just berries and walnuts. Both are proven to increase your memory function. So if you want to make a snack for yourself, throw some blueberries, some strawberries, some raspberries, blackberries, put that in a Ziploc bag, have some walnuts. They're so much better toasted. If you've ever toasted them in the oven, they're amazing. And use that as a snack and say, I'm serving my brain. And then you'll feel like you're being super healthy. Okay. So I will see you guys tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. I am going to have to go take an Epsom salt bath because my butt cheeks are burning. You guys have a good rest of your night. Bye.